Korero Nui to whanau. I've got some beautiful news for you all. I'm having a pepe. So I've been thinking what I can do uh, in preparation for him. And uh, te whakautu pai. I have the perfect answer. He moinga. Children grow up so fast. Why spend the money buying a toddler's bed when ka taia ahau te tahi te hanga? I can make one myself. Right, so the cool thing about this is uh, I get to come up with a design that I can uh, choose and I don't have to go to the shop to go buy anything. So that saves on a trip to the shop and it also saves on a bit of uh, putea for the uh, wallet, so. Untreated ply and untreated pine. Ma tēnei ka paihana kore. Interior low sheen paint. Builder's bog, wood filler, tūwiri. Drill, kani rāko, saw, sander, 75 millimeter screws, wood glue, and safety gears. Ko te mahi tuatahi, the first job, come up with a plan. There are quite a few safety standards, so it's best to check out the regulations before you begin. Kia pai, e ko I'm happy with my plan now. So this here is going to be the head and the base with our timber design. I've got some uh, Douglas fir timber that I've picked up off the side of the road. I've also measured it to suit the mattress that I purchased earlier. So. Um, yeah, we've got the plan. We've just got to do the mahi. I've pre-drilled the edging timber for the headboard so the screws can be hidden. So I'm just going to paint up these, uh, the framework that goes around the head and the tailboard. And then obviously we don't need to cut in and make a mess on the rest of the timber. While the timber's drying, I'm going to get ready and start making the base for the bed. Te tumu o te moinga. Cut the framing timber to tightly fit the mattress. So I'm using this rough saw and uh, untreated timber for the slats on the bed, which is actually boxing, which is a, one of the cheapest timbers that you can pick up from your hardware store. So I'm about to assemble the base. I've got a little trick here. What I use is this piece of ply, which is already cut square, and I'm just going to run my uh, timber into this, and that keeps everything nice and square. I'm just going to space these out evenly. I've got some 50mm screws. Square drive screws, which will fix through into here, and it will securely fasten this to the bed base. This is very important for moinga tamariki. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to glue and brad this side panel onto our base. Um, obviously, if you don't have a nail gun at home, you can just use a hammer and a nail. But uh, to save time, I've got this bad boy. At this point, I might quickly fill the holes so that it is dry so we can paint later. Koya koya, te tumu o te moinga. This is my bed base complete. Now it's time to build my unique headboard and footboard that I designed. I'm just marking out the centre of the board just to help for my design. I'm just offsetting it for 10 mil. I've got a strip of 20 mil oak that's going to run right down the centre. Glue this down and brad it. Glue the boards, and then nail at an angle. So when you're gluing the cladding onto the plywood, it's good just to place the piece of Douglas fir on top, and then you kind of just move it around to spread the glue around evenly. Use the hardwood offcut to join the tongue and groove so you don't damage the soft timber edge. Ka motu tēnā. Once they're in place, we flip it over and saw off the overhanging edges. Te ahua nei, ko pai tēnā. We're all done here, now I've got to put the edging around the outside. I'm using a fast curing Gorilla Grip. The trick is not to use too much because it actually foams up and we don't want it to come out the sides of the timber. Secure with 75mm screws and add the other two edges. Ngā ko te, all done, but wait, there's more. Me hanga te tahi ano. we have to build another whole footboard the same way. Karawe, they're all complete. Ko te mahi pakamutu ngā. Now I'm on my final stages of the toddler's bed. So I'm just getting all the uh, fixings ready to connect the headboard to the base. So I'm going to be using these grunty screws. So I'd say my boy's going to be big, but I don't think it'll be big enough to break this. You want to pre-drill the holes before screwing to give it a cleaner look. I'm just about to attach the base to the headboard. Tapu tapu ke ana te ahua tēnei. 
that's the toddler's bed complete. With a little mahi, I have a one of a kind bed that looks beautiful. Ka tahi te a tāhua. And is strong enough for the largest boy. Might be time for a little snooze myself.